Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, March 6th, 2018. And we're so honored to have with us in the studio, Mauno. Hey. That's our cue, yeah? Okay, cool. Thanks for having us. I'm with you. Okay. (laughs) My ears shining in. My mind's not in it. My spirit's flown away. Down below this nervous complex, my soul's an ancient grave. Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Mauno. Go ahead and tune up. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging out with us. Uh, my baby loves that song, so uh, oh, wow. hopefully, he, hopefully Oakley was watching. Yeah, and, birth, uh, birth and death, chilling all, out. all together. Yeah, exactly. An actual yeah. baby, or like your your love partner? Oh, uh, both. But an actual cool. human baby okay. uh, is the one that I was referencing. Not <laughs> yeah, not my wife. But uh, yeah, baby um, loves that. Trip. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had like the I don't know the gusto to call my wife baby all That's the bold. time. I was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, only You're only like, when wow, this only when she's swag. not around. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> only oh, live baby. on air. Yeah, live on air. Only in front of a million people. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay, so we were talking about, uh, or Scott and I were talking about a little bit of like early mornings. Um, on this trek thus far for you guys. I'm curious, like, right when you wake up, if the answer's not coffee, like, what's the first thing you need to do? Like, whether to feel clean or to feel awake or, like, just it's embrace coffee. the day. It is coffee. <laughs> yeah. Two glasses of water. So much oh, water. Oh, okay. So much water yeah. first thing. And, and so that's just to rehydrate after the sleep or, like, be prepared for the coffee you're going to drink? For sure. And stretch as much as you can. Okay. It feels nice on the body. Yeah. Do you do yoga or you're just talking just kind of, like, got, Yeah, just down? like Yeah, just, like, I, how I imagine, like, calcium 
calisthenics from like the 1940s yes. to be. Yes. Yes. You know? Just like just at <laughs> least <laughs> at least do this. Yeah, and exactly. Like you're, yeah, you're fine. Uh, yeah. Coffee. What level of like coffee snobs are you? Like, like, do you care? Would you go just gas station, fill it up? Adam's know? the biggest snob. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing the coffee thing for a long time. Okay. Um, definitely nerdy about it, but I mean. First thing in the morning is kind of whatever we can get. Yeah. You know, we end up drinking a lot of gas station coffee. In sure. Canada, there's uh, a Tim Hortons at yeah, yeah. every exit. Yeah, totally. We end up going there a lot, unfortunately. Um, We've this all... is not a plug for Tim Hortons. Yeah, this is a do not. Um, it's not ideal. <laughs> Thank but you for the sponsorship. We've all been baristas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for years. Okay. Like so, single yeah. origin African beans, please. That's what you need. <laughs> yes, dude, yeah, I love those that. Little, those little tiny pea beans. Exactly. Give me those light roasts. There is a, uh, there's a Tim Hortons like near my house in Grand Rapids. And I knew that that was like uh, originally a Canadian place, but they're so nice there. And I'm just curious if it like it, it transfers over. Like, is everyone nice at all the Tim Hortons? Depends Everyone's nice in Canada. Day. Okay, yes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I guess I set you up for that. That was easy. Okay, you got cool. the drums. Well, Do the ba -dum Yeah, you gotta give -dum. yourself the <laughs> ba -dum Okay, cool. Uh, thanks again, guys, for coming out. You can go into your next set thanks. when you're ready. Okay, cool. This is gonna be a couple songs in a row. All right. Ready to play the music, everybody? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I got to turn my tremor. Hold on. That's better. Okay, I'm ready. Sorry, everybody. It was my fault. I blame myself. I used to think that you were so cool Till I had that fever And I pushed my heart face into you
missing. You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Mauno. So after one of the songs on tuning, there's like a little bit about, there's a bell and then one of you says like, oh, oh there's yeah, a nice yeah. natural decay to that. Okay, cool. Um, uh, so I assume there are other like found sounds or things that you guys picked up other mm -hmm. places. What's your interest in that or like why, yeah, like why add that as an element to, to the record? Yeah, okay, Nick. Okay, cool. Uh, well, Eliza and I first like started playing music together um, sort of based around our mutual love of the books and sort of yeah. like aleatory in general, like found noises. And um, I guess when we, the reason that there are lots of sounds on this record, uh, tuning especially, is because um, when we first finished uh, tracking everything and getting it all uh, sounding like an actual proper album, yeah, we realized that it had sort of been divorced from its context. In, in which it was written, it sort of just sounded like it was made in a vacuum. Okay, sure. And so what we tried to do is is to reintroduce the the, the spaces in which it was it was made and, oh, cool. and it was thought up. And so we went around Halifax and sort of walked our normal routes. Went to like the grocery store, like just places that we would normally go. Went to the laundromat and like picked up sounds from our everyday. Very cool. And as soon as we started overlaying them, the album actually started coming together and being complete. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, How then, did you go about collecting those? Like just voice memo or like on your phone or well, you know that like bell, easy that bell stuff. recording is from Eliza's phone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was actually in uh, Germany where I was living last summer. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then there's one from Berlin as well, and those are just on my like iPhone. Okay, yeah. Cool. And mm -hmm. otherwise, I borrowed from uh, friend Neil Reed uh, his uh, like his field recording. Yeah, field thing. recording thing. Very cool. And then wandered around with headphones for like three or four days, just like. Yeah, feeling, yeah. I mean, feeling I'm, super high. Yeah, like, just like it was so intense. Just constantly Every, too much, like intense. Well, maybe was, not too much, but it was, looking it was for actually noise. amazing. Doing a sound walk like that is something I feel like I could do every. That day. sounds really you cool. Just, you just yeah. turn the outside world way up. Yeah, and then you can you can be really directional with it. So yeah, I just like wandered around until I found sort of like um, there's a guy from Canada called R. Murray Schaefer. Um, he taught, he invented the term soundscape, or okay. maybe not invented it, but, but I mean, at least he popularized it. Sure, sure. Um, and uh, and he, he talks about like sort of I don't know if this is the actual proper term. I'm paraphrasing, but like key notes or keystones or um, main parts of a soundscape that sort of like give it a Stick character. Out or, exactly. Oh, okay. lay, so lay like, the foundation. So for we tried. It. Yeah, we tried collecting them from Halifax, and we didn't want them necessarily to be like the sound of a ringing bell on the ocean or yeah. like a foghorn. You know, yeah. like it was just sort of more. Um, small, small things yeah, like daily the sound stuff, of a cash dryer, register exactly. at the grocery store, or Precisely. yeah, dryer. So this at next song place. we're about to play is like, there's a on the chorus. There's yeah, like cash, like actually at the grocery store, cash register is beeping, and like this guy announcing on the overhead at the grocery store, like how the price of meat for the week. Oh, very cool. And yeah. then like some dryers and things like that, just like really sort of mundane things. Cool, from and all to give it its place. Like, yeah, so exactly. it feels like it's yeah. in Halifax, yeah, yeah or, or then, other areas, Germany too. And but yeah, where and then built. live, it's not really necessary because you have yeah. the context. Totally. So you're in a room, and there's gonna be there are gonna be people like talking and cool. screaming at the bar about how some person knows somebody else money, you know, yeah. and then. <laughs> Um, throwing beer bottles at us. Throwing yeah, beer exactly. bottles at you, smashing And that, and that them, creates fighting. a context. And so we take it from where it was made in Halifax in the record, and then we can and then take apply it, it to this context. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Very cool. Well, uh, yeah, give us that next song. Sure, sure.
That's all. Thank you. You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Mauno. You guys can get ready to go into your next song, and I will say that they're on tour in the U.S. right now, going through, doing a few dates at South by Southwest, right? So you can check them out there if you're around there all the way through uh, the end of March. I think the last date is the 23rd here. Their newest record, Tuning, is out now, which you can get, and they have recorded or will be recording your third album this summer. Cool. This summer. Yeah. So uh, look for that in the future, and go ahead and take it away when you're ready. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Thing, like like adding background sounds and found sounds. We just kind of uh, whatever is necessary. Okay, cool. Yeah, just like respond to whatever the songs need. Cool. studio with Mauno. I feel like you guys do so many fits and starts that they don't know. Like, <laughs> like oh, I'm not, is that going to be over? Oh, no, they could do another One thing. One time right we here. did a session at a radio station in Canada and they yeah. full on like stopped it and started clapping in the middle of the song. <laughs> what did you do? Well, did you I just say just like, cut out and they were like, woo, and they're like, oh, so, oh, sorry. And then we just like kept going. Yeah, oh that God. recording well, is pretty Yeah, amazing. we don't want to insult your intel intelligence with an outro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know the song's over because we're not playing music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and also, it's kind of, you know, you never know when something's going to end. It just kind of sometimes takes you by surprise. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Would, would you talk a little bit more about that? I've heard reference to uh, musicking and kind, of, and kind of like the idea that uh, it's something 
to be actively participated in versus like an object that music is something to be actively participated in versus like an object. Well, the like idea, do you as, as far as I understand, musicking is the idea is that music isn't doesn't exist as a thing, as an object, as an art object, and so what it actually is 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 um, is a participation exactly like you said, like it a is, dance. Exactly, it's more like dance steps than it is like something that. So like the idea is like when you're listening to a, a symphony. What you're listening to is not the actual people playing, but you're listening beyond the symphony uh, or the orchestra um, to the composer, and the, you're listening beyond the composer to the composer's ideas. Okay. Sort of this like this like pure form of music manifested here in this imperfect way. So you're like, oh well, like you know, the trumpet's cacked and whatever. Sure, sure. But really, what's happening is you just have this super imperfect thing, and nothing else exists. And what you, when and sort of music written down only exists as sort of dance steps. Okay. Um, to, be followed, to, to be followed, or to be like, but the dance performed doesn't. Or... But the dance doesn't exist unless you're doing the dance. Like, right. The, like the dance in the abstract isn't anything. It's just. It's just a. It's a way of being in a space with other people. So in that way, it's like necessary to participate. Like, like uh, the fact that you participate in it makes it exist. Mm -hmm, like exactly. the context brings it into existence, kind of. Well, okay. But it isn't. So all of that is all there is is the doing of it. The because the thing isn't something that you're discovering as you're participating. You're just acting it out, and that's the thing. Yeah, like, that's the object. Well, yeah, exactly. So like, like, and then what? Well, there's no object. It's just sure, it's sure. just acting. It's just doing, and then and then you, it's just yeah, it's just a series of it's just a dance. And then there's no. I mean, this. I'm gonna. I mean, like, I'm paraphrasing a book sure, I read, like sure. three years ago. Yeah, so yeah, I, I right on. Yeah, you know, like I'm gonna butcher anything Christopher Small talked about. Of but, course, but um, like, yeah, I don't. I don't. I, don't I, I don't know if I can say it any more succinctly than that. Yeah, no, no, that's yeah. great. Uh, yeah, just curious then, like how that finds its way into your music. Like you think about Mauno as, uh, or you think about music as the way you just described it, and so you're not creating it you're just trying to like play it out well it's just it's just a series of actions so we're just we're just like moving and then music happens to sound happens to be in the space as well and sound is in the space and it's just trying to focus on what is happening in this space instead of connecting to this like non-existent ideal oh, okay. so it's just listening it's the process of listening that's an activity doing that's an activity and then also interacting with whoever else is in the room as well mm. my voice is starting to get cracky but. no yeah no worries mm. Cool. Uh, other thoughts on that, or yeah, that's it. I don't. I mean, there's tons more, but it's, yeah, of it's course. Like, yeah, it's, but it would it's get an too long. It's an endless, endless conversation, and um, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm, if I'm able to articulate it. Exactly sure. Right I mean, now. I think you did well. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Take it away into uh, the next song. Okay. The song's called Hand. We're playing Hand now. Yeah. and it has functions, and I burped, okay? Is that? Uh, yes, 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 okay. Wrangle tangled, all right, let's do it. <laughs>
Tree Live. You guys can get ready to go into the last one. Oh. And I'm just curious, was the border a nightmare? Or did you have preparation for like going into it? We did so much preparation. We yeah. had all we had like a stack of stuff printed off. And it was so that were all docs or whatever. All like our docs like, yeah. are like Manifest. contracts, our itinerary, yeah. our Do you have visas. To get a visa? Yeah, okay. Our visas like and all that stuff. Yeah. We're so worried because um, it's our first time. And it was like a breeze. Awesome. They pulled us in. Um, they didn't even look in our van. We had this we had a different point of entry on our on our visa. So we were all we were all worried oh, yeah. that we ha- yeah. were gonna have to drive like an extra fourteen hours. They totally. were gonna tell us to go there. Totally. And we told the guy, and he literally just didn't even respond, <laughs> and he just like charged us our six dollars each for our visas and let us through. We were really lucky. I think. Cool. That's yeah. amazing. I, I, I don't know that everybody is as no, lucky as us. No, <laughs> I do not think. I was not hoping it would be a nightmare yeah, story, no. but I have heard. Yeah. yeah. No, we were yeah, lucky. It was super chill. Cool. Very cool. Wow. Th- that word does not fit. Glad. You've never said that word before. <laughs> yeah, the way yeah. you said very, it, it very kind of, you struggled to <laughs> oh, release it. Chill. That word was very chill. <laughs> <That's pretty> chill. <laughs> okay, uh, again, on tour, uh, Mano is on tour in the U.S. Uh, through March 23rd. They're going to South by Southwest. You can get Tuning, which is out now, and uh, take it away. Thanks so much. Okay. Oh, we're playing at uh, Shuba's tonight for free. If you want to come down. Yeah. Show starts at 9. Sean Green Pool Holograph 2. Woo. Got trim on this amp.
watching Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Mauno. Check them out on tour and get tuning out now. Uh, thank you so much, y'all, for performing for Thanks us. For yes. Totally our pleasure. This Thanks to amazing. awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for making it look beautiful. And viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple weeks and send a shout via social media to us or them if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. <laughs> That's my actual outro every <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody.